1220. Joining me in studio right now is Bernadette Boylan, All for Kids, Foster Care and Adoption Supervisor at the Children's Bureau Los Angeles. Hi, Bernadette. Thanks for coming in. Hi. Thanks it's good for to see you again. Me. Yeah. Thanks for having me again. Of course. What a drive in, huh? Yeah. Two, two hours from downtown. Yes. Boo. Ridiculous. <laughs> it's crazy. It's not even like drive time at all or no, anything. No, it isn't. <laughs> so let's jump right into it. May was National Foster Care Month, Foster Kids Month. And last month, you guys had an informational meeting at the new Children's Bureau of Valencia office. How did that go? That went great. And guess what? We're having another meeting in the month of June at the same location. Really? When is that happening? Uh, that is June 22nd, and that's going to be from 10 to noon. I really encourage people to come. This is where you can get your basic questions answered and really try to figure out if being a resource parent is the right path for you. Basic questions, but people have questions. What is the most? Uh, what is the question that you hear the most? Well, I mean, basically people don't even really understand what foster care is you know these are children that basically need families right now and there are not enough families for all the children that are in the system i mean we're not even talking about kids just in santa clarita i mean la is crazy i mean i heard the interview you had with tori over twenty thousand kids yes. in the system in los angeles but let's talk about here in the santa Cruz valley are there a lot of kids in the foster care system that need families here yes it doesn't matter which city you live in i can bet my bottom dollar that you know somebody who knows somebody who has a child that is in foster care right now and we have a great need for people who are willing to open up their families and home to sibling sets mm -hmm. and older children. You know, um, yes, there's a need for people to take babies, but most kids come with a brother or sister. Right. So it would be great if somebody could uh, get those bunk beds set up and, and have a, a couple kids join their family. And, and, you know, everybody knows there's no training manual to parenting, especially when it comes to foster parenting. But for anybody that's looking to participate in this system, do you guys provide any training, any resources for those families? Yes. From the minute you decide you want to take this journey, uh, we provide training. Pre Basically, before you even become a resource parent, you're going to be trained, and the training is ongoing. Mm -hmm. um, you have a social worker who is available to you 20 Four, seven. And myself as the supervisor, I'm available 24-7. So if any crisis or issues or even questions come up on how to deal with a child or, or anything, we're available to you. And it's not just being financially capable of taking care of these kids. These are kids dealing with drama. So you have to be emotionally capable. You have to have really the patience to deal with that situation, right? Yeah. And and you know what? You're right. No manual available to, to be a parent. Right. But the idea here is at Children's Bureau, you are not alone. You, you have your social worker. You have other team members, therapists. We're all available because we're all focused on what's best for the child. You don't have to do it alone. And um, you know what? We don't know all the answers. But I do know one thing, and every child deserves a family. Right. We're talking with Bernadette Boylan, the Foster Care and Adoption Supervisor at the Children's Bureau. Here in Santa Clarita, we have an informational meeting. Last month was National Foster Kids Month, but this month, informational meetings don't stop. Coming up next Saturday from 10 to noon at the Children's Bureau Valencia office. We have another informational meeting coming up, and it's not just an informational meeting or it's not just an informational building, what other services does that building provide? Yeah, our new location. It's Beautiful. so exciting, and it's a gorgeous building. Uh, we offer outpatient mental health services. So if anybody is in need of that, please check that location out. It's very close to College of the Canyons on Turney Road, 20007. Hope I didn't put too many zeros in there. <laughs> but you can always go on our website, wwwall 4 kidsorg and that's the number four. And these services are crucial because for whatever reason, whether it's socioeconomic reasons or other, these, these families, these kids might not have access to those types of services. So you know, I, I know that this location is the 20th location in Southern California. So just having access and, and being there and available for those families is crucial. It's key. Yes. And again, 
the the kids are out there. We need the families. Right. And, you know, if you come to the info meeting, you're not obligated in any way. It's just an opportunity actually to sit in a room with people that are just like you wondering, hey, can I do this? Right. Is this for me? Is it for me? And right. if it isn't, that's okay. But uh, please, it, it's an opportunity to have a uh, a chance to talk to a social worker who runs the meeting and also to meet a foster or adoptive parent who's already been through the process. Mm. So get, now it, that's from key the, too. Yes, get right. it from the horse's mouth. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Because, you know, they might think that you're just trying to sell them on it. But yeah. if they meet a parent that's in the system that has gone through and taken care and been a resource parent, they might, you know, they, that might have a greater impact on them than hearing it just from you. I think actually – the information and the stories that come from the the foster adopt parents that are there sharing their experience is really what draws people in because it's just it could be your neighbor it could right. be the person who uh, you know uh, cashes your check at the bank everybody can maybe do this and if you find out you can't that's okay but maybe refer somebody who can and are there other volunteer opportunities say you know somebody might not may find out that being a resource parent isn't for them. Are there other opportunities to volunteer or to lend their time and services uh, within the Children's Bureau? I mean, we always would say to somebody, if, if this isn't the journey for you, we have lots of other programs, prevention mm -hmm. programs, uh, mental health programs. Maybe there's a better fit there. Um, also, you can donate. Um, there's always a need. Uh, but the bottom line is if people can just get the word out. That's why I like coming here. You guys give me the ability to say that, hey, this is Children's Bureau. We're here to help children, preserve families. What can you do to help? In Children's Bureau, it's not a national thing. This is just for California and Southern California especially, right? Yes. We're here in Southern California, and like you mentioned earlier, we have several locations. Yes. Um, and we all do different things and different programs. Um, but you go on that website that I mentioned, and you are going to see what we're doing out there. Bernadette Boylan, All for Kids, Foster Care and Adoption Supervisor at the Children's Bureau. And to learn more about becoming a resource parent, how you can lend a helping hand of any kind to child in, or to a child in need, become the reason a child in need thrives. Go to allforkids.org. You can also visit the Children's Bureau brand new location, beautiful building, on Turney Road, right across from COC, off the 5 Freeway. Again, allforkids.org. You can also give them a call at 661-705-4670. That's 661 705 4670 and please next weekend next saturday go to their informational meeting from 10 to 2 or from 10 to 12 again that is at the children's bureau brand new location in valencia on Turney road right across from coc right at the five freeway more info at allforkids.org bernadette thanks for coming in appreciate Thank you for it anything me. else is there anything else you would like to to say i just want everybody to know we can all help a child become a productive adult and uh, our kids are in need. And yes, they've had trauma, but they just need a family. Mm -hmm. Bernadette Boylan, allforkids.org. Thanks for coming in. We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We got you covered with traffic coming up. 98.1 FM and AM 1220.